What's going on, my beautiful dolls and divas? I am your girl, Tanisha Hines. Thank you, YouTube, for joining me for another week's alopecia hair solution. Today, we're going to do my signature feather bob. And I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit more of how I customize my braid foundations for my alopecia guests. I got a lot of the video in um, fast forward, speed up, whatever, just for time purposes because, you know, don't want to bore you to death. But I go ahead and do a lot of anchoring and marching in place to create um, a bridge where there's not nothing to bridge to, if that kind of makes sense. But um, just watch and get the hang of it. So right now I'm latching with my crochet needle a piece of extension and now I'm considering this is marching in place, meaning I'm not picking up any hair when I am securing the braid. Then I go in and pick up whatever's there and I march in place, meaning I'll probably play in this spot for three to four stitches. Then I kind of go ahead and braid even though there's nothing there until I get to the next section where there's hair located. You see? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this and make sure that you're not adding any tension when you're doing this process. It might give off an illusion that it's a lot of tension because it's a braid where nothing is there, but it's just basically just placed there for a filler. I like to have those anchors for when I'm applying my net. It's another layer of security. Trust the process. It helps my dolls be able to wear the extensions much longer without having to worry about a lot of shifting, um, wig action. If somebody tussle with them, they are in there. Oh, of course we got the neck because she's getting a bob, okay? We don't need all that hair down here. So instead of going ahead and sewing it and then lifting it up, why not go ahead and cut the nate wise there? You see the net. You see how neat that is okay now it's all for the fun oh yeah side note we did use the tara uh 246 i only use the four and the six inches for the back um we use one bundle of 12 inch and a closure this is all hair from the beauty supply store um we chose this technique and use this hair to save you know as much as possible especially if we're cutting most of this hair so Use my little razor, you know, do my little thing going back and forth. Y'all see it? I did not get in the camera today. Oh, thanks for likes, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Make sure you leave your comments below. Your girl is located in Roswell, Georgia, 20 minutes outside of downtown Atlanta, 20 minutes outside of the airport. Okay, you see the precision, baby. It's all about the precision. And my abs was killing me when I was doing this video. Trust the process, okay? The camera's right this week. The camera's right this week. So we just going ahead and stacking and point cutting and razor cutting and, you know, tweet, tweet, tweaking. You know, I'm a picker. And that's all we doing, basically. I believe this color is a 30. I believe it is a 30. 33, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sorry, y'all. You know, I do color, color. So the store board world is kind of, you know, not my reality. But I'm not too bougie to know what the colors is, okay? Anyway, make sure you follow me on Instagram for daily bids and content at posh hair designs salon spa and you see it uh, now i'm gonna do two vids showing you the final results this vid is the wide section so you can kind of see it from the far and i'm gonna give you a close-up i'm gonna give you a close-up oh and of course there is no glue make sure you put yourself first check me out at www.officialposhhead.com and i cannot wait to hear from y'all next week until next time dolls and devos deuces she ready for the summer. Ow.